My name is Joshua Tetrick. I am the co-founder and CEO of Eat Just. Uh, Eat Just is a food technology company that was started about eight and a half years ago. Um, I was motivated to do this because uh, the food system today doesn't represent uh, who we are. It's unhealthy. Uh, it's unsustainable. Doesn't even taste good enough. And we need to fix it. Uh, and we won't need to take 50 years to fix it. We need to fix it uh, in our lifetime. We need to figure out a way to make big categories of food, whether the egg or whether chicken or whether beef, better. Better meaning safer, healthier, uh, and more sustainable. Uh, and we've um, embraced new technologies to do that. Um, we've scanned the world to identify functionalities in plants um, that others have never seen before. Um, we spent about four and a half years to identify a bean called the mung bean uh, that turns out to make an egg, to scramble at the same time in temperatures an egg, to have similar texture. Uh, and we also have a, a platform around a technology called cultured meat uh, that's not plant-based, uh, where we identify a cell from an animal, nutrients to feed the cell, and ultimately we can manufacture a clean, safe meat without killing an animal, without tearing down a tree, without the use of antibiotics. Um, and it's with these two technology platforms, one plant-based, one cultured, um, a brand, a business model um, that we, uh, we want to do our part to make the world uh, a bit better. Um, and I'm, I'm particularly excited to, to be here with uh, Felipe because um, it's, not just, it's not just our brand and business model and technology that makes this happen. It's identifying the handful of very rare partners around the world that can do things that we can't do, uh, that have technologies that we don't have, uh, that have a common mindset. Um, and Felipe and the team at Cuisine Solutions uh, have that. And uh, Felipe, I'm really, really excited to, to talk with you about that. And uh, maybe you can give yourself a, a brief introduction and then we can get into this. Likewise, Josh. Um... Hi, my name is Philip Hausemann. I'm the president and CEO of um, Cuisine Solutions. Um, we are the largest sous vide company in the world and by far the most innovative or one of the most innovative companies, uh, food companies out there. Uh, we are a chef-centric organization uh, with the culture of ownership and, um, and, um, and innovation. We, we move by passion and um, fast execution. We also hire people on attitude. We truly believe that if you actually have a great attitude, you are open to learn and to share. And once you start sharing, you actually help others to grow. Um, we have over 750,000 square feet of manufacturing uh, with the highest technology in food that you can imagine. Uh, we have a, a group of engineers and scientists that they actually spend their life uh, looking for equipments and looking for ways that we can keep perfecting the technology of sous vide. Um, we have operations in Asia, Europe, and uh, United States and Middle East. We have distribution centers in, um, in Hong Kong and UAE. And we also have, uh, I mean, we sell to over 22,000 restaurants worldwide, uh, 6,500 restaurants, um, over 4,000 retailers. We support the troops in 14 different countries abroad. Um, and we have just launched a, what we consider an upgrade of the dark and ghost kitchen, uh, which is a dark assembling kitchen. It's a fully, uh, uh, it's 100% sous vide operations. Um, you can literally operate out of 250 square feet size uh, kitchen very few equipments, uh, very little investment actually to kick off the project. Less than three people being able to develop over 10 different concepts and uh, multiple different uh, uh, menu items. Uh, we're very excited uh, about that. We partnering with Petamanger in New York on a project that we started actually last week. Uh, uh, the name is CS, which stands for Cuisine Solutions, DAC which stands for dark, dark Assembling Kitchen. Um, we also have a, um, I mean, uh, we have had a great experience working with Josh and his team. Uh, it just is just uh, one of those unique organizations that we found out there that could definitely uh, work together with our R&D team in terms of innovation, in terms of creativity, in terms of, uh, you know, uh, there is nothing possible to be developed. 
And, um, and uh, I mean, we truly believe that there are a lot of things to come out of this partnership. Felipe, I want to, I want to, uh... I want to I want to make sure everyone hears uh, the announcement a bit before we get into the announcement, though. I just want to I want to ask you, you've been in the food game a lot longer than I have. You were in the food game when I was trying to figure out what the hell I want to do with my life. What um, what do you see in now, especially as we we uh, we're in the midst of this global pandemic? Hopefully we're exiting it pretty soon. Um, we have all sorts of issues around climate change and, and a want to eat healthier Share with me a little bit about how you see the food system changing um, from from where it was even a few years ago. I should be making that question to you, by the way. But uh, and by the way, we have no scripts. But I mean, you, you, uh, your vision to what you believe the future is, it's actually um, in line with the way that we see the, the, the future. Um, but there are, there are a lot of changes happening and somehow we truly believe that the pandemic uh, that we live in right now, probably uh, it's speeding that process. Um, uh, people are getting uh, way more conscious about what they eat and how they eat and where that food is coming from. Uh, we clearly see that people are way more uh, conscious about how the product is prepared and how safe that product is. Uh, and with that, um, we can see that there are a lot of uh, people turning to sous vide, uh, as is a product that you, I mean, it, it's, it's fully cooked, it's sealed, uh, 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 vacuum packed, had absolutely zero cross contamination. Um, uh, that, is, uh, 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 that makes people to feel a little bit more comfortable that the product that they're eating or reheating uh, uh, was safely prepared, safely cooked, and so on and so forth. Uh, when you look back at the supply chain, so we actually do the final product, but when you look back at the supply chain, people start questioning how, how, the, uh, how does that protein, how, how that animal is slaughtered, how or why. Uh, sometimes they ask us for the whole process. Um, when you look at the growth of food and the consumption of food, how are we going to be able to keep uh, or to keep up with, uh, with the, the additional uh, volume that keeps coming day, uh, uh, every year? And then you start questioning and we have a lot of customers questioning themselves about um, what they're putting inside their body. Uh, and that's also why uh, as a company, Cuisine Solutions uh, has a commitment uh, we have a great partnership with it, Just and, and, and you, Josh, uh, but we also have been working with plant-based companies in Europe, uh, in Asia, in Middle East, uh, in United States, in South America. We have over 30 different companies that we've been uh, working with their products in order to create a full menu. Uh, none of them, it's even close to what we do with it, Just. Um, for a lot of different reasons and for the long-term goal that we have. But as a company, we will uh, make sure that our customers, we have always the option of eating um, whatever we actually producing today, as well as uh, a large uh, options of plant-based items in the future. You know, it's, um, it's, been, it's been wild to see all the questions that people have asked in light of COVID and you know, people forget that COVID-19 is a zoonotic disease and a zoonotic disease is even an abstraction, but, and we, we've got to figure out a way to, to make this better. And then what's been really interesting for me to see, Felipe, is how people, as you sort of noted, or how people are beginning to question things. People are asking themselves, where is this coming from? How is this made? Why is it made in this way? Can it be made differently? And what I think is really exciting about the work that you do, um, along with the work that I do, is changing the food system isn't just about one technology. It's not just about one company. It's about figuring out a way to bring these different approaches, these different manufacturing techniques, these different technologies together to make something really, uh, really important happen. Um, and before, before we get into the, the big announcement, um, we spent a little bit of time talking about this, but I want to I want to better understand um, the. You just mentioned some of the food safety benefits 
of sous vide, particularly in light of the world that we live in today. Was that a part of initially your, your thinking around doing it? Or is that one of the, in some ways, um, you know, uh, uh, just, just positive consequences that's come through it as you've been, as you've been growing the business? How much did you think about that in the, in the beginning days as you were making this happen? So I need to, I really need to divide that question. Uh, um, the vision that our, our chairman uh, and founder, Stanislas Vilgren, when he actually uh, founded the business uh, uh, and he actually uh, worked really, really close with our chief scientist, Bruno Gousseau, was actually looking for technology uh, like uh, sous vide he wanted to uh, bring the mass production of that technology to the food service uh, business. Mm -hmm. And he kept emphasizing the qualities uh, that that technology could bring to the market. And that's in a time, we're talking about 40 years ago, but that's in a time that people were not completely uh, in acceptance of uh, frozen products or cook under plastic and so on and so forth. And when you fast forward that to the beginning of the 2000s, they start understanding that, uh, you know, they would not be able to keep consistency uh, at large volumes. Um, safety became a huge concern and since it has always been the far most important thing that they wanted in the product. They wanted something to taste good. And Subido was able to provide all of that. And then if you keep fast forward into all the, the small changes we've, ha we've had, uh, when you get into large restaurant chains, the number one thing they're looking for, uh, taking into consideration that quality uh, uh, for them is a given, is uh, uh, safety. Uh, and they, they operate over two, three, five thousand stores, and you're always going to have someone uh, on a bad day that they could either overcook or undercook, and either way, the experience is terrible. The consequences are even worse if you want to cook. By having a sous vide product, they're actually able to uh, uh, avoid uh, either the, the problems with safety and consistency. And Cuisine Solutions has been known by all of our partners as not only by innovation, but the quality put on the table. So it's a granted. And uh, we've seen that. We've seen more and more over and over throughout the years, people uh, um, asking us to help them to keep the highest level of safety uh, and yet being able to provide the, the, the highest level of quality as well to their customers. Uh, that's, that's, very, that's very cool. Um, you know, the uh, people are always uh, messaging me, emailing me, asking me to come out with this product or that product. People say, when are you going to do plant-based milk? When are you going to do plant-based cheese? When are you going to do this kind of egg, that kind of egg? Uh, but in the last uh, year and a half, two years, I don't think I've had uh, any more people um, ask me to do something uh, than um, I've tried this um, egg bite at sous vide. Is there any way you guys could do something like that? I get that over and over and over and over again. Um, and before, uh, before we get the chance to really know each other, um, I said, well, I, you know, I think we'll, we'll eventually get into that. Also not realizing just how complex sous vide at scale is, um, because obviously the work you do is a little bit more than just doing sous vide in a, in a home like this. It, it's an entirely different approach in technology. Um, you know, so I kind of humor people a little bit, you know, eventually we'll, we'll look into it. And then I had, had the chance to, to hang out with you, uh, had a chance to visit your facilities and get to know your team and be introduced to an entirely new kind of technology. Our technology um, is about identifying plants that do really interesting things like an egg gels or scrambles in a pan. And our big question is, can we find a plant out there that will do that? And we developed a, a data-driven platform, an automated platform to ultimately find the plant and, and then eventually take the protein out of it. Um, you know, and sometimes when you're doing stuff like that, stuff that we do, you can get a little bit arrogant and think that, you know, you know everything there is to know about food technology. Uh, and maybe I thought that a little bit until I started learning about the stuff that you guys do. Um, and I, uh, 
I want you, I want you to share more uh, about what that technology at scale looks like, but I, I want to take this opportunity to, to share with everyone that, uh, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a pretty proud moment for me to, to kick off 2021 uh, with the announcement that Eat Just is going to be partnering with Felipe and the team at Cuisine Solutions on a worldwide sous vide agreement. Uh, we're going to be kicking off uh, this agreement with the launch of, uh, of a handful of retail SKUs of sous vide products and major retailers across uh, the United States, uh, across a variety of different flavors. Uh, and for me, I, I'm, I'm so proud of it um, for, for a number of reasons. One is from the moment I met you, you get our mission um, and we share a, a common want to improve the food system. I'm proud of it because it really does show to, to fix a food system. It's not just about one company, but figuring out a way to bring these technologies and these mindsets uh, together. And then the third reason I'm really proud of it is um, all these folks have been bugging me to do this sous vide egg bite can stop bugging me and I can stop dealing with all their questions because we're actually going to put the damn thing out. So uh, I'm, that'll, be, that'll be a relief to my life. Uh, but I, I'd love to know how, how, what you're thinking about it uh, and, uh, and, and maybe in answering it to share a little bit more about what sous vide at scale looks like, because I don't think people appreciate just how daunting that challenge is uh, and the kind of things that you're, you guys are doing that, that no one else in the world can do. Well, um, first of all, I really need to clarify. I'm just connecting the dots. I mean, the, the stars that, uh, that we have in the organization, our chefs, our scientists, our engineers, operations, <laughs> those, those guys are the ones really moving the world. That's also why we keep saying we are a chef-centric organization. And that's also why we keep saying that uh, we move by passion, because if there is a very passionate uh, uh, um, um, person in the world, it's a chef. And that passion they have for challenges, for uh, projects and so on, kind of uh, keeps feeding the creativity, the, the innovation. And um, when we created the, the, the first Egg Bites, which we call sous vide egg bites, um, we actually created that out of a challenge, an internal challenge we had of uh, perfecting uh, uh, basically another product that we were selling in retail and we didn't like the outcome and we started thinking about how can we do that better and suddenly the sous vide egg bites came in uh, out of our culinary team um, and yes, we have a, 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 a large chain uh, and the first one to launch, which was Starbucks. And um, uh, we were very proud to be behind uh, the, the, that, that project. And then you start fast forwarding that and start talking about how, how can we open that to all consumers. Goes back to the, the people that, are, that they want to eat healthier and they looking for what they put inside their bodies. And then you start looking and we had many, many options out there um to work with but i mean josh when um and i do remember um, i was kind of googling and you know a friend a common friend introduced us and from that conversation after the second day it's almost like we've known each other since uh, many years uh mm -hmm. and in less than three weeks we were already i mean we had already visited each other um, talked about business and, and it skyrocketed from there so I think there is a combination of uh, the, the culture, uh, the willingness to make the change, uh, the willingness to do it fast. We very we known for a very fast execution anyway, and the willingness to innovation. Now, when it comes to mass production, um, we know how good we are. We know we are literally the best one in the world when it comes to sous vide, and uh, we we invest. We have invested over $500 million since 2016 in new technology, in innovation, in R&D. Um, and we're going to keep in doing that because that's what keeps us on the edge. That, that's what keeps us developing the best sous vide product uh, with the best solution to our, solutions to our customers. Uh, and if you take every single of our manufacturing facilities, they're completely different from each other. We don't duplicate. We actually have to upgrade. We have to bring something new. Uh, therefore, we're keeping any competition far behind. 
And we still have companies that they, they, um, they actually do sous vide where the operations still look like the one we have from 30 years ago. Uh, and we truly believe that's going to take years and years for them to be able to get even closer to the plant I have behind me here in Sterling. I'm not even mentioning the one that we opened in Texas uh, last month, which was a 310,000 square feet of uh, pure technology, which we will have, uh, uh, we will be producing the uh, eat just sous vide egg bites uh, from there as well at the end of this month, uh, January. What I, what I think is just so cool about this again is, and we, we've invested hundreds of millions of dollars in our own kind of technology, right? How do you find a plant, take the protein out of it? We have our own protein separation facilities in Western Minnesota. We're breaking ground on a hundred million dollar facility in Singapore this year. Um, before getting to know you, um, I knew nothing about sous vide. Um, my team, uh, my chef knew uh, a bit about it just from a, a single restaurant or home use. Uh, then we get together, right? And you've invested all of this capital and energy and have all this talent, this technology. And now these two ideas end up merging right in the midst of a global pandemic. And I, I thought it was really cool to hear you say that uh, in the next year, you want to be uh, the leading manufacturer, the leading player of plant-based protein, plant-based products uh, that are sous vide. And I hear that, and I told you before this call started, um, that is uh, such an obvious thing to me um, that you guys would be the, the leader in that. Um, we want to we want to do our part to make sure you're the leader by focusing on the on on the uh, on the egg bit, um, but I, I just think it it's uh, it's so exciting to take this this idea of sous vide that's been uh, around for a while, this scaling of sous vide technology that you guys have really innovated and, and led the way on, and this new uh, idea around plant based proteins, and combine them together. You know, and I, I just think that's a, that gets me excited about um, how we can we can fix things in the world uh, faster. Um, and I love, as always, man, I love your ambition. Most people might say, you know, we'll do that in five years or 10 years or 20 years. And you just said, ah, we're going to do it by the end of 2021. So t tell me, tell me a little bit about what that looks like for you guys to to ensure that you're the leader in, uh, in sous vide and plant-based for the end of the year? So for the past three years, we've had multiple chefs within every single uh, 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 country that we work with uh, engaging into developments with other companies. So, I mean, we have received thousands of samples that we actually uh, prepared sous vide. And within that preparation of sous vide, we actually start working, uh, perfecting those products, exactly like we did together with it, just kind yeah. of uh, uh, adapting to the sous vide cooking methods. Um, at one point, when you actually start having a certain number of data that you can come back and say, you know, right now we have a lot of suppliers or possible suppliers. We have tried a lot of samples. Uh, we know the world is moving into that direction. Uh, now let's, Let's put that puzzle together. So we start working uh, and then we put a, a small number, um, a small division within the organization. And the only thing they do, it's actually plant-based. They mm. develop in plant-based products. They developing with a lot of different uh, companies. And then we're gonna start filtering down to the top ones. We already have the top uh, 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 plant-based egg supplier with it just but we, we, need to, we need to add into that. We need to add uh, uh, um, sausage. We need to add chicken. We need to add uh, 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 meat plant-based. And by doing that, we're going to be able to develop additional items and additional recipes that absolutely no one can copy. No one can even get closer. And that's something that makes Cuisine Solutions so unique. It's like for as much as you have a lot of uh, copycats on the, on the sous vide egg bites, absolutely no one can get into that velvet texture that we, that we produce. And it's basically the same thing 
uh, uh, when it, when it goes to the products uh, that we wanna we wanna develop for plant based. So yes, uh, we are now in the process of filtering down our partners. We're in the process of refining those samples. But I I, I would I truly believe that from the half of uh, 2021 on, you're going to start seeing the results of all that research, uh, along with other news and other announcements that we shall uh, make together uh, in the future. As we're as we're wrapping up, uh, Felipe, I, I want to share something with you. I don't know if I told you this, so. Um, because of dealing with COVID and whatnot, I've received a lot of the the uh, uh, the just egg sous vide samples in different places I've been staying. I was in the mountains of Montana. I was in the mountains of Colorado. Now I'm um, on an uh, on an island here, uh, one of the one of the Hawaiian islands. Um, and your team has been kind enough to send me different samples. And I'm I'm with my girlfriend, and um, we're we're launching three we're launching a handful of flavors together uh, an Indian inspired a Japanese uh, inspired um, uh, an American uh, inspired and a, and a Mexican inspired um, the the Indian inspired in, in particular sous vide my my girlfriend tried it and she said to me after she ate it and tried that texture she said is there any way you can get just cases and cases delivered of this <laughs> particular flavor. So this is all I can eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It <laughs> blew her away. Um, my, uh, my best friend who co-founded the company, we had some, uh, some sent to uh, where he's staying. He tried it and he said to me, um, he texted me and he said, this is the best Just Egg product there is. When is this launching? Um, so I think what's so exciting for me about what we're doing together, people are not trying it and saying, oh, this is good. I'm not getting that reaction. <laughs> People are trying it, my girlfriend, best friend, and these folks are critical. You know, my girlfriend doesn't hold back with me and my best friend doesn't hold back. They're trying it and they're just blown away, you know? Okay. And, and I, want, I want to close this out by just asking you something that we talked about, that we're talking about technology, scaling sous vide um, in, uh, in massive quantities as you do at scale and plant-based technologies. But at the end of the day, and you know this better than anyone, food is ab not about technology. It's about that feeling that people get when they're hanging out by themselves or with their friends and their family, that emotion, that feeling of being blown away, that feeling of being connected to, to something that, that they remember. And uh, just to, to close it out, maybe you could say a little bit about how that energy, that feeling um, is you and is, is Cuisine Solutions and, and relates to this partnership. Well, we, we have a say here in the company. We, we're not on the food business, we're on the memory business. And mm -hmm. um, um, we truly believe that uh, when you have a great, great product, a quality product, uh, you will always remember. We believe that you are in a memory business. The moment that you can create a memory uh, with food, you will never forget. And, um, and again, uh, when you came here, we had a nice presentation, uh, normal presentation, but you said the same. You said, wow, I'm blown away. I didn't even imagine that my product mean uh, your just egg liquid could uh, taste so good in sous vide and so on and so forth. So uh, we, we believe on that. We, we truly believe. And, and that's part of our mission is to keep providing that, that memory of, uh, of uh, uniqueness that people want to repeat. Um, and we're very proud of that. We're proud of, uh, of the partnership. We're proud of the developments. We're proud of where we are. And we're even prouder of where we're going. Uh, we truly believe that this is just the beginning. It is. Um, it is. Well, that, that, that memory for me, man, of Little Cabin, Whitefish, Montana, a box of, uh, of Cuisine Solutions, Eat Just, Sous Vide Egg Bites, arrives at the door. Um, we, we heat them up. I watched my girlfriend try that, that Indian-inspired bite. There's like deer outside, mountains in the background. Glacier National Park uh, is right there. And she said, I'm blown away. So that's a, that's a memory that's going to stay with me. And I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about uh, making that happen with, uh, 
with millions and tens of millions and eventually hundreds of millions of people with you, Matt. It's a real honor. Um, I'm ready to get rolling. All right, Felipe, good to talk with you. Great talking to you, man. Thank you.